dear learner welcome in my lecture of web technology today i will discuss about jsp components and tags i am dr ashutosh kumar bhat associate professor school of computer science and it uttarakhand open university haldwani so the learning objective of this lecture is to understand different advanced jsp component and tags and to implement jsp include jsp forward base program in jsp however in previous lecture we have discussed about the uh, simple jsp component and tags along with scriptlet so uh, these are the standard action these are some commonly used tag action uh, along with the basic tags and these are jsp colon include jsp forward jsp use bin jsp set property jsp get property jsp param means parameter and jsp plugins so in jsp we have um, around 8 plugins so these uh, plugins can be used with um, jsp colon plugin jsp colon include it will include the another file and jsp colon forward it is also used for the another file and jsp colon use bin means we can embed java bin programs with jsp program by using this use bin and set property and get property will send as well as receive the property we received attributes in a jsp program so these are the commonly used tag action so these are the advanced jsp tags and these these tags are very very important tags uh now see one program uh, how to implement this jsp colon include so here you can see the program uh in this program this this uh, this uh, will include including the request model uh this is for including request model a jsp that manages a request and includes the output of other jsp also so here uh, uh, inside the html code we have had we have title this uh, example of forward action so we are using here jsp colon forward uh, same way we can use jsp colon include also so this is jsp colon forward so uh, you can see this red portion this is uh, jsp portion and rest blue and black portion is the html portion so you can see here uh, inside the percentage if uh, statement is there if mat dot random uh, so it will automatically it will generate the random value if random value is greater than 5 then we will move uh, move to the next jsp colon forward page uh, so it will execute if uh, mat dot random is greater than 5 then uh, jsp colon forward page and here the fibonacci computation will execute it will execute and uh, otherwise we will move to this else statement and this else statement is a part of again jsp uh, this this jsp uh, statement this is the simple jsp processing statement and jsp forward page is another type of statement it will return simply uh, under this uh, less than and greater than sign and if uh, we will move to this else position if random is not uh, uh, mat dot random random value is not greater than 5 then it will move to the else por portion and where we will apply we will execute implement this jsp colon forward page factorial computation so first we are calculating the fibonacci series and second we are calculating the factorial so both we are uh, both program uh, we will be forwarded we will forwarding these two programs by this program so here uh, we have conditional statement so uh, when first condition will satisfy then fibonacci computation will execute and if second condition will uh, apply will be true first will not be will be true then this uh, factorial computation dot jsp will execute so we have these two jsp program and this uh, this program this slide having this program uh, itself a jsp program so we are three jsp programs here 
so now see the first program fibonacci computation so we are the generating the fibonacci series fibonacci series you know very well that uh, in fibonacci series we find the next value um, uh, by adding two previous values so here html uh, head portion uh, we have title title is closed head is closed then we uh, we are starting body bg color equals to navy body background color is navy color and text color is yellow color so here you can see percentage exclamation integer uh, fib is a variable that is integer that is array variable integer type variable and uh, this uh, exclamation sign is used here percentage exclamation sign then we have this center center tag inside center tag we are displaying the value of uh, fibonacci series then heading one we have used here computation calculating the fibonacci number of 0 to 19 we are calculating here and it will be uh, uh, given in output also so slash h1 heading is closed and br tag is there uh, now slash fib equals to new uh, new integer 20 so we have we ha we have this integer array of uh, integer so array of integer 20 values for the 20 values so fib 0 is 0 fib 1 is 1 so FIB 0 location is 0, FIB 1 location is 1. So we will find the sum of FIB 0 and 1 and then we will find FIB 2. FIB 2 equals to FIB 1 plus FIB 0. So you can see the for loop here, for loop integer i equals to 2, i less than 20, i plus plus, this is the loop of 20. And FIB i equals to FIB i minus 1 plus FIB i minus 2 means first two value will be added and uh, it will calculate the third value and uh, this uh, b and slash b is here so b is a bold face and slash b uh, by this uh, we will close the bold and uh, this is a html statement we have uh, colored is black color rest rest the code the statement are in red color these red color statement are the jsp statement uh, uh, there is no rule uh, to change the color in red or black but uh, for uh, understanding of the learner we have colored it so this uh, bold face is part of html and then again we have started percentage equal sign this is for printing the value so in jsp we have four type of scriptlet first is percentage exclamation this that is for the include statement for import statement and second is percentage uh, equal sign that that is for the output and percentage exclamation for data type declaration variable declaration and the rest are the uh, inside the uh, percentage they encapsulated inside the percentage so here we are printing the fibi so from second position we are printing the value of ibonex series so in i is a second here i is a two here uh, initially i equals to two so uh, two uh, uh, two position of fib array so in two position we will uh, calculate zero position and sum of zero position and one position so zero plus one equals to one so this two bo two position will display the value uh, one and number we have given here bold face and then we are printing it and finally curly bracket will be closed if curly bracket is a part of jsp statement and then center will close body will close and html will close this is the first program uh, you uh, this is this is this is by this uh, if statement and when we move to this else statement then we will execute factorial computation dot jsp so uh, this one is the another program factorial computation in previous lecture i have also explained this program but here uh, again i am repeating the same program html will start the program then head portion head inside head we have title calculating the factorial number and then body bg color uh, this purple is color is the background color and text is in white color uh, center will start so inside the center we will write the program of factorial to calculate the factorial first of all we will declare the variable percentage e, percentage exclamation is used for variable declaration so here long uh, number array is there so this is the array of num uh, numbers so this is long type another uh, array factorial this is again long type and we have two integer variable i and j and uh, this percentage 
and greater than sign will be closed to declare the variable variable declaration is closed because variable declaration is a part of uh, percentage exclamation so that's why we have to close this one and then we have to start the another jsp statement on the category of jsp statement the, uh, this category is percentage simply less than sign and percentage sign so this is the processing statement so here we will write the rest of the program numbers equals to new long 20 factor equals to new long 20 so we have mentioned here two two different one is numbers variable and second one is the factorial variable so in number uh, array we will pass the value 0 to 19 uh, this is the array of 20 and then see the another variable that is long variable that is uh, fact variable so here in this factorial variable uh, we have another array of 20 so uh, the same two array we have taken here first is the input values and second is uh, for the output values and now uh, number 0 equals to 1 and number 1 equals to 1 so uh, two initial value we have assigned uh, here and the loop again we have uh, given here up, uh, for loop of 20 so uh, the value will be uh, assigned to the number array so 20 natural values will be assigned to the number array number i i means 0 number 0 equals to 0 number 1 equals to 1 number 2 equals to 2 number 3 position equals to 3 number 4 position equals to 4 so this way we will provide the 20 different values uh, to this array uh, now uh, we have this uh, uh, this uh, another for loop where uh, we are initializing this fact array so in this fact array we will store uh, again 20 value by initializing one in each uh, position of array factorial array and uh, this factor array is also from 0 to 20 now the last for loop uh, middle in middle portion of this slide we have another for loop so this for loop uh, loop of 20 and inside this again nested for loop so this is uh, the for loop where j equals to n and j, j less than equals to i so the outside for loop where uh, i is less than 20 but inside one we have taken val variable j uh, and it is initialized by 1 but it will be executed up to up to the position i up to the position uh, j, j is less than and equal to i so uh, this is up to i position so we will calculate the factorial factorial suppose fact, uh, 5 is a value so the factorial of 5 equals to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so here factorial uh, um, uh, this loop will run suppose i is 5 then loop will run 1 to j 1 to 5 so 5 times loop will run and 5 times each value will be uh, multiplied by the uh, previous one value so factorial i equals to initially factorial i is 1 so factorial 1 uh, into 1 into number number j j will be initially 1 so 1 into 1 and second time j will be 2 so 1 into 1 into 2 and third time it will be 3 so then 1 into 1 into 2 into 3 and fourth time it will be 1 into 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 and at fifth time it will be less than equal to written here less than equal to i j is that so it will be uh, in fifth time it will be 1 into 2 into 2 uh, into 3 into 4 into 5 so this way we will calculate the value of factorial and it will store again on fact i position suppose i is 3 then uh, the, it will store the factorial of 3 uh, if i is 4 then it will calculate the value of factorial 4 so finally we have this again for loop and the last for loop here we will print the value which we have calculated by the calculating factorial out dot print error number of factorial number the num the factorial of 1 is uh, whatever the value of uh, factorial is there and in second time i 2 then first time it will be 0 factorial of 0 equals to the value and fact, uh, factorial of 1 equals to you will find the value you will get the value suppose factorial is 2 then the factorial the value of factorial is 2 2 into 0, 2 into 1 into 0, 2 into 1, sorry, 2 into 1. And fourth 
third time it will be 3 into 2 into 1 uh, means it will accordingly it will display the value of uh, factorial. So, uh, this is the program of factorial. So, these two program can be merged in this one program by using this forward uh, this forward JSP colon forward uh, tag. So, this is the some advanced tag JSP JSP colon forward page this one. Now, uh, see uh, when we will use this forward page JSP colon forward page suppose this is FO dot JSP then we can same time we can pass argument also JSP colon parameter parameter means argument. So, we are passing the parameter name variable name is date and value uh, the current date new date by using this new date date function. Uh, so, the current value will be uh, stored here and it will be uh, moved to the uh, server. So, this is the program of uh, forward page. Um, now, see one more program here this is the uh, GI based program. So, you can see here we have this program HTML then head portion then body portion. So, head is blank here body will start and then we have mentioned here paragraph enter the two number and click the calculation button. So, this will be message paragraph uh, in the page. Now, see we have uh, three input type means we have two text box and one submit button. So, form action equals to calculator dot JSP we want to create a calculator method get there are two type of method method get and um, post. So, get uh, is lighter, but uh, get is sensitive more sensitive while uh, put function is uh, uh, will hide the detail it will uh, for the security purpose it is uh, beneficial. So, it will not open the value uh, of uh, the website which we are providing to the website. So, this this uh, uh, is get here we are getting uh, from client to server, but post is also put also. Uh, so, uh, more secure put is more secure uh, rather than get. So, we have three input uh, three input type two are the text box and one is the submit button. So, the two text box the first is value 1 its variable name is value 1 and second one's variable name is value 2 and we are writing here br line break by using the line break we are we will move to the next one and finally, we have submit button and its name is calculator variable name of the button is calculator and value is the selection. So, it will be uh, it, this caption will display. So, uh, this is the calculator dot html basically this is the html program, but we are using here javascript in this html program. So, it will run on client side form is closed body and html will close. So, this will run uh, website or this one this is one client side, but uh, same time we need a server side program also and this server side program you can see here first first of all we have html then head portion inside head we have title simple calculator results title close head close then body will start and we have command line uh, simplest exa simpler example and this com command line we have mentioned here 1 plus 1 equals 2 and percentage equals sign 1 plus 1. So, we will display the value of uh, first value first variable plus second variable. Uh, this is very simple program where we have we are taking only two values directly, but uh, uh, on the other hand we can assign variable values also. So, now see the co another command block that is a simpler calculator. So, now see the heading to the sum of your two number. So, we are finding the sum of two number which we have uh, mentioned uh, in in the above line 1 plus 1. So, uh, when this will uh, calculate, so it will be printed on the client side, but this program will execute on server. So, this is the server program and previous one is the uh, this one is the um, client side program here we are creating a form in that form we have two text box and one submit button. So, as we submit it it will automatically execute this program and uh, this program will display percentage by percentage equal sign we will display the sum of two number integer dot parse it means the value will be converted into integer request dot get parameter value 1 and request dot get a parameter value 2. So, uh, another value will be also convert into integer by parse int. 
so uh, so the tax box one you can see here first tax box and second tax box these two value will be fetched by the server and server will convert them into integer the, by request or get parameter it will be fetched on server value one will be fetched on server and then it will be converted into integer and the in, two integer will be added and then it will uh, display the output on uh, client also so this is the uh, last program of this uh, lecture so now this program this uh, jsp is very important the advanced tags of jsp are very important the learning outcome of this lecture uh, is learner will understand the different advanced and jsp component and tags learner also understand how to implement uh, jsp colon include jsp colon forward base program in jsp so thank you learner thank you very much